y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Yeah. Alright, so I know it's been a hot minute since we've been with any of our Sims 2 Pleasant View families. Um, you know, most of you know by now, if you have been following my channel or follow me on social media, that I was taking a back seat on the Let's Plays due to it just changes in my life, you know, being pregnant, adjusting to, you know, new living situations, not having a job, stuff like that, so... Anyways, I was going to put a hold on all my Let's Plays, but, you know, I've kind of adjusted to it, and I just really miss it, and I've continued my Let's Plays, and we are wrapping up The Sims 2 Pleasant View, and the last family, or the last part that we watched, you know, if you were caught up with the series, is with the Broke family, and that was the Broke family's last appearance in the series until Season 2, which... Um, I'm not going to tell you, you know, it'll expect season two in such and such months because I have no idea when, <laughs> but I do want to wrap this up. It's been my longest series thus far. It's been my most popular, and so what we're doing now is just going through all of our families and just kind of wrapping it up, and I think season two next time you see them, they'll be a little bit more progressed in age, have a whole new storyline going for them, so yeah, we only have a few more parts left with Pleasant View, so I'm excited. And today, we are back with the Dreamer family, which, let me just say, by far has been the most uh, entertaining family, I think. Just because of the biggest plot twist. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to remember what happened last time, uh, aside from Darren unexpectedly passing away. Um, I know Cassandra did give birth to their second child, who we named Darren Jr. in honor of his father, whom he's never going to be able to meet, which is, like, really, really depressing, honestly. It really is. <laughs> and right now, it is a Thursday. I did play a little bit off camera. I had Cassandra take the day off work just because, you know, she gave birth and, uh, you know, everything was just really exhausting. So, I have her resting right now and really... You know, my plans for this part, uh, first things first, I'm about to have her get up and come over here and take care of little Darren Jr., but also, I really, really, really want to have her kind of, you know, get out there. I know, um, it's, we'll just pretend it's been... Uh, a few months. Uh, he didn't even know Darren when he passed away. He had no idea that Cassandra was even pregnant. So, I mean, technically, I know in The Sims that you only carry a baby for, like, three days. Um, but we're just going to pretend it's nine months, okay? And the baby's a few months old. So, we'll just say it's been about, you know, a little over almost a year since Darren has passed away. And Cassandra, um, you know, she wants love in her life. She doesn't want to be a widow forever, and I think that a lot of you in the previous videos with this family have agreed with me and said you want to see Cassandra find love. So, I mean, we may do that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We're just going to kind of see how she feels about it. Um, as you can see in her want, she wants to have another baby, which I'm not really sure. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's just really focused on her family, and I I think that's really, really good. So, all right, we're going to cuddle Darren. And as far as little Damon goes, oh, he's taking a little nap. He's absolutely precious. And I do really want to have her take him um, maybe to, like, a, a store or something. And we're going to pick him out a new outfit because, you know, it's about to be spring and everything. So, we need to update our, our wardrobe. So, I think that's what I'm about to do. So, we're going to put Darren Jr. in the crib. I, I don't know. Do we have to? I don't remember. So, let me try to find out real quick. Um, I think we have to hire a, a nanny. Um, yeah, I think we have to hire a nanny. Oh, Mary Sue is no longer a family friend, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Mary Sue is, like, obsessed with her, which, I mean, they were really good friends, and, I mean, we just have a lot going on in our lives, obviously. We just can't be studying you, Mary Sue. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna call a... I'm pretty sure we can't just leave a baby in The Sims 2, like you can in The Sims 4, and they just automatically go to daycare. So, I'm gonna hire a nanny to come and watch little Darren. Um, I'd be happy to take care of your little ones. We're 
Uh, we're gonna say just for now, um, right now, and then once we get on a schedule, because we'll have to go back to work eventually, we will have her, um, come and hang out with us, or not hang out with us, what am I even talking about? Watch our kids. <laughs> so, um, it's 4 p.m., I'm gonna have her get out these leftovers, which is pancakes. I mean, I'm a fan of breakfast for dinner, so no judgment. <laughs> and I'm gonna have her and Damon grab something to eat real quick before we head off to one of the little shops and update our, you know, our wardrobe. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll we'll meet some interesting sims. Because as of right now, as far as her, you know, potentially getting back into the dating world, I don't see anybody that she knows that she is interested in. Like, she needs to get out more and meet some people. Because, you know, Darren was the love of her life. So, I mean, it's depressing. But, but she's ready. She's ready. So, you know, we're going to keep our eyes out. <laughs> okay, update. Um... <laughs> I'm having some errors here, <laughs> some kind of glitch for some reason. I cannot get her to go anywhere. She just freezes when I try to get her to, you know, to, to leave and go to the store to buy some clothes. And um, it's it's late now. It's nine, and I had to like reset her three different times, just trying to figure out what's going on. So we're gonna dismiss the nanny now. Looks like Damon is already in bed. He really likes to sleep with his mama, which. You know what? She doesn't care. She doesn't mind not one bit. You know, she's a little bit lonely herself. And this is her baby boy. So, you know, she doesn't mind that he wants to sleep with her. Because he's not going to be this little forever. So, anyways, also I got the notification that tomorrow is Darren Jr.'s birthday. Or it said he's one day from aging up. So, I think that means tomorrow he should be ready to age up. So, I think... I think that's what we're gonna do um i don't think we can like manually go and, and age him up i think it's just something that he does when he's he's ready so hopefully by the end of this part we'll have a toddler and i'm sure he looks just like damon just like darren so he'll be another spitting image of darren but anyways i'm gonna have her just kind of you know zoom on through the day she does have work tomorrow so i'm probably gonna have her go to work because she doesn't have any vacation days i did have her use a sick day for the previous day or today technically thursday um so yeah we're probably gonna just play on through so she can go to work kind of make some money and I mean, we really don't need to lose our job since we're a single mom right now and then when she gets home we're gonna try maybe calling a taxi i don't know if it's um an error with the car or or what but i really do want them to you know get updated wardrobes and just kind of get out there and meet some people so yeah fingers crossed that i mean this isn't just like glitched and screwed hmm <sighs> okay well another update um nothing is going right like she's looking at me like what the hell me too girl i'm i'm confused so <laughs> the carpool okay actually wait i'm scared okay wait okay hold up the carpool showed up to get us and i had hired the nanny to come track our schedule so she can come and you know take care of it here junior while we are at work well, she's late. <laughs> she said she'd be here at 7. It's 7.30, so that's not looking good. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so our carpool left, and she's like, no, I just I have other responsibilities. So, I forgot she has a car. So, I can I can drive to work, but um, I don't know if this, there's a glitch with the car, the driveway, or what that wasn't allowing me to go to um, shopping. So, let me see if I'm able to drive to work. No, see, there's something wrong with our car. I don't know what it is. Can I reset this object? Debug, driver, get in. Okay, hold up. Let me... Okay, I'm so confused. Force, error, reset. Okay, we're going to... Force, error. We're going to reset our vehicle. And we're going to drive to work. No, she just will not. I don't know what it is. If anybody has any idea, <laughs> please help me because I don't know why. Sh what did I just do? I don't know if y'all can hear that. But that was my stomach growling. Dear God, me and Cooper are hungry, but I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> I'm going to eat as soon as I get done. But, oh my God, this is like not going great for our, <laughs> for our last little, um... <laughs> 
I can't even talk. I'm so confused. Reset. Okay, for our last freaking episode with the Dreamer family, yeah, it's not going good. So, basically, we have a nanny here, <laughs> and little Damon is off to school, but I'm just gonna, you know what, whatever. We're just gonna make a day out of it, since I can't go to work anyways. <laughs> um... I don't know. I really need to talk to this woman and tell her she needs to start getting here on time because I can't afford to, to you know, lose my job. And uh, we're doing so good. Well, we actually have to have a friend. We, well, yeah, we, we got a little bit to work on, but still, I'm not trying to get fired, uh, Kindle. So could you please uh, do a little bit better of being being on time? You feel me? All right. So I'm gonna have her come over here and pay all the bills real quick. And then what I think I'm gonna do is. I'm going to try to call a taxi since apparently um, she didn't really have a problem um, right before the day that he didn't show up. She was actually about to get up and get in the carpool. So I think it's just a glitch with our car or something. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm doing the nanny's job. <laughs> you should be the one feeding this baby right now because uh, I, I got plans. I really need to go shopping. I need to get out there, meet some people. I need to call the exterminator. There's so much to do. I'm telling you, this household is by far the most hectic. And I guess it's just because they have the most children as far as like young children. And nothing just seems to go right for poor Cassandra, so... Anyways, we're going to feed him and put him back in his crib. And then, oh my gosh, we're hungry too. Great. We're great. We're hungry. Okay, well, you know what? We're just, we're going to make a day out of it, like I said. So, we're going to come over here and pay all the bills. And then, like I said, call the taxi. See if somebody can come pick us up. <laughs> Maybe we're having car problems. I don't know. And then... Hopefully, we can, you know, go go shopping, have some lunch, and meet some people. Oh, my God, the freaking phone's ringing <laughs> as soon as I go to call somebody, of course. Okay, so that apparently worked. So, like I said, if any of you know what the deal is with uh, the freaking car and why I can't get in it and go anywhere, let me know. That'd be awesome. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to pick out some outfits because it is the first day of spring today. And then we have summertime. So, let me see if I can find Cassandra um, a few outfits and then a few outfits for Damon. And then Darren Jr. is about to age up. So, we'll go ahead and grab him some outfits too. Okay, so I probably just spent way too much money on clothes, but I think she looks really cute in this little outfit. So I got her, I think, about three different outfits to suit her for the spring and summer. And then I got Damon and Darren a few outfits as well. And now, um, she is getting really tired <laughs> because she was up at like 2 o'clock with the baby screaming, you know, mom life. And we're going to go to another lot real quick just because there's, like, nobody here <laughs> um, to, you know, we're, we're trying to trying to meet some people. And I don't want to have to call the matchmaker to do that because that costs a lot of money. So, I think I'm just going to, like, go to a restaurant somewhere and just hope, hope that we have a few more, you know, Sims lingering around to kind of chat with and get to know a little bit, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that in this part, she's gonna, you know, go on a date, because we're not trying to rush it that much, to be honest, um, so, let's see, where can we go get something to eat, all right, so we're just gonna go to this little cafe here, and like I said, hopefully we'll meet some people, but, um, yeah, we're, we're not trying to rush into it, like I said, typically, um, you know, it's going to take some time to move on from your love of your life, your husband, passing away unexpectedly. Um, there is no time limit. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, you can't put a time limit on stuff like that. Um, it's, it's different for everybody. And I know that she's ready. I mean, it's been not necessarily three sim days or not, you know, we're just going to pretend it's been longer, like I said earlier. Um, and she's just ready. So, no, we're not going to get married today in this part because this is our last part with Cassandra and the Dreamer family in season one. And I just really want to wrap it up on a positive note. Just her hopefully being okay with the possibility of moving on. And you know what? Technically, She's okay. She's gonna lounge here. She's posted up. She's like, I'm available. I'm single. I'm ready. And it's, you are not who I had in mind. Boy, you need to go home. 
<laughs> of course, the ex would show up like, go figure, go freaking figure. <laughs> anyways, we're going to pretend we don't see him, but we're going to go be seated. But anyways, like I was saying, and it doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to move on in a relationship, but she's just going to let her heart heal. She's ready to just be happy and and push forward you know it was unexpected it was a terrible loss but she has a family to raise and she's got to put her happiness um you know back as a priority in her life um so anyways hopefully this doesn't take very long i mean hello we have a, a, a waitress here that um a waitress waiter um, that we could possibly say if we're attracted to. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not seeing anybody but freaking Don Lothario. And <laughs> we already know that's not going to work. That We've been there, done that, and it didn't work out. Oh, okay. Well, he's like, he's already like, girl. You look like a dime. I can put a ring on it. <laughs> um. So, anyways, we're going to... Um, we're going to do... What do we want to have to eat? Let's get some... Let's say, uh, filet mignon. I can never say that, but that's like my favorite steak too. When I go out, oh my gosh, I love me a filet mignon. I can't say it. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so I'm just gonna, we're, we're gonna order that. And yeah, okay. You know, I mean, I don't know why they're conversating about rings and kissing and such. But, you know, maybe it's a sign that, oh, that was, is that mine? Oh my god, you you are quick, daddy, okay. Oh, look, we got some people here. We got some options. Okay, so let's eat our food real quick. Hopefully we don't get super tired because I do. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm, hold up. Okay, I know we're with the Dreamer family right now, but look at his face. <laughs> he is like... I'm busted. <laughs> oh my god. No, but for real. <laughs> uh, who is this chick? He had just proposed to freaking Nina, and I thought he was going to settle down, but I mean, uh, what are you doing? Who, who is this? Okay, Dawn, I, yeah, yeah, I see you. <laughs> Okay, well, we got some we got some drama. We got some conflict coming up in the Caliente family when we play them because uh, Cassandra will tell all. She ain't scared, but yeah, that was funny, his face. He was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> Busted. But anyways, okay. How do we pay for our bill? Do we do it this way? All right, yeah, let's pay for our bill real quick. And then, like I said, I kind of just want to... Can we, like, talk to him or is he busy? Um... Oh, is he busy? Do we know him, though, since we ordered from him? Okay, yeah, uh, how, how are we going to talk to him? I guess do we have to go home and then, like, call him later? Is, is that what we do? I don't know. Um, <laughs> where did that other guy go? I just, oh, we got, we got all kinds of options out here. Riker Johnson. Yeah, they all look like her type. I'm feeling it. We came to the right place. Okay, so. Anyways, let's come out here and talk to him. Let's chat with him. Uh, just kind of, you know, mingle around. We're just trying to get get out, get out of our little our little box here, and we're definitely trying to get away from Don Lothario. She's looking at him like you're a dirty dog. You're such a dirty dog. <laughs> if anybody knows, it's Cassandra. Okay, so far this is not going good. <laughs> She's not interested in him. So there's no chemistry whatsoever between them two. That's fine. We're just going to come over here and just... <laughs> I know, who does this? Who actually does this in real life? Just walk around and introduce yourself to random people. I mean, you might, but I would never. <laughs> but anyways, let's just, let's just check it out. Ooh, okay, okay. So far, so good. Okay, let's... Ooh, okay. Yep, she's very much attracted to him. What's his name? Peter? Okay. Peter. Um, where, where are you going, Peter? I, I want to, uh... I want to talk. I just, I, I want to see... I, I want to see what you're all about, you know? I just need a friend. <laughs> but anyways. I'm trying not to be, like, super creepy. <laughs> Okay, Cassandra, let's not 
Oh, don't piss him off. Cassandra, what are you talking about? Sh it's been a minute. She's like, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Help. <laughs> okay, that's not going good. But anyways, um, can we like uh, wolf whistle at him? There's... She looks so embarrassed. And he does does not look interested at all. This is probably flopping big time for us, you know? Maybe this shouldn't shouldn't be happening. Maybe she should uh, just kind of take it back, you know, take it down a notch. I don't know. I mean, it's not like we're asking, can can I get in your pants or anything? You know, we're we're just trying to be friends, dude. Chill out. What what's the deal? Okay, well he liked that. So whatever we said earlier in our conversation, <laughs> he didn't like too much, but. Okay, no, he's not liking that. I'm confused. You are confusing me. Okay, I am i don't have time for this hot and cold bull crap you got going on with me right now, Peter. So, you know what? How about I'll just call you later? <laughs> um, we're just trying to move on. Like I said, we're, we're not necessarily, like I said, trying to freaking get in somebody's pants and, like, move on, you know, by getting under somebody. That's not her intentions at all. But she's just... I guess mingling in the possibility that there is somebody else out there for her, for her, and so far it's not going good at all. <laughs> so you know what? I'm not gonna force it. We're just gonna go on home. You know, she's had a she's had a long day, and she's been able to reflect. And you know, we're just we're gonna go home and spend some time with our kids, and you know, end it on a happy note there. How about that? <laughs> Alright, so Damon has brought a friend home from school today, and his grades are improving. I love how the nanny is out here to greet him. Oh, it's Spencer! Oh my gosh! Uh, technically, they're family. Yeah. That is her n nephew, or little brother. Oh my gosh, her little brother. Oh, that is weird. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> um... Anyways, she had to take a little nap. Anyway, since we have everybody home, let's come over. Where's, where's our nanny? I think it's time you go home. You know, I know we're on a schedule here, but, I mean, you've been a big help today. Don't get me wrong. A huge help. Where is she at? Did she leave? I think she did leave. Okay, great. Cool. All right, so, um... I'm not sure if she's holding him because he's ready to age up. Or, no, he needs to, a bottle. But I don't even think that we know Spencer, do we? Do we know that that's our little our little brother? Oh, my gosh. that's That would be his... That would be his uncle. Well, that is kind of weird. <laughs> Them being the same age and everything, but... Yeah, they can have, like, a little family kiss. That is so cute. Um... Oh, okay, that's perfect. But anyways, how are you doing over here, Darren? Yeah, Darren Jr. <laughs> my, I'm losing my my voice, but I'm going to put him back in the crib because I do want Cassandra to come and, you know, say hey to Spencer. We haven't ever really communicated with him to be like a little brother or anything, but, um, yeah, and then, I mean, I don't know. He's supposed to age up today. I, I hope he does. I mean, we need we need something exciting to happen in this part. I feel like nothing exciting has happened at all. <laughs> you know, but the, you know, sometimes it's just it doesn't happen the way you want it to. That's just that's the Sims for you. So, anyways, we're just you know chatting it away with this little this little cutie. He really is so cute. <laughs> and yeah, we we he, we know him as our family now. Okay, cool. Um, now what I want to do, I mean, since, like, you know, I, I just, I feel like I'm just going through the motions right now. Like, this is a flop, but you know what? We're just, we're going for it. It's real. <laughs> this just sometimes happens, you know? So, we're going to come, and I want to call, what's his name? I want to call Corbin. I want to see if we have any potential with Corbin. You know, I, I just, I want to see. Um, I mean, look, she wants to flirt and be flirted with. Like, she wants affection. It's, it's really sad. 
Um, okay, well, apparently we can't call Corbin. He's not even on our freaking call list. Okay, well, guess what? We're just going to call Peter, and we're going to ask Peter to come over. <laughs> I mean, we just want some attention. Okay, he's... <laughs> if my wanting to see you was on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd still say no. Okay, well, you know what, Cassandra? Let's just not let it get to us, Okay. Because what, what everybody doesn't know is that I ultimately hold your fate. So, <laughs> you know, this little happy ending here for you for you might not look too bright right now. But I can definitely put my magic to work for sure. And I can have you somebody. I, I can have you a, a man. I mean, hello. I don't know. The Sims 2 has a way of just bringing the right one to your freaking doorstep. So... Let's just take a shower, come out here and greet Rav, Ravi, Ravi out here and just see because, you know, for Brandy, that's just kind of how it happened. The Sims gods just kind of brought this, this fellow to our door and, you know, we saw what happened with her in the last part. She got her happily ever after. She, you know, got engaged and, I mean, maybe he's not the one. He's being sent away. Um, hurry up, get out of the shower. I mean, we're, we're just, we're just, we're just, we're just gonna see, you know? I said I wasn't forcing anything. I know it totally looks like I'm forcing stuff, but this is The Sims, okay? This isn't like The Sims 4 where things kind of happen naturally. You know, you sometimes gotta force these things, so let's just, let's just see. Oh my god, my children are being cock blocks. Greet Ravi. Da da Darren. <laughs> Okay, bye, Ravi. It's not happening today. <laughs> it's just not happening. Okay, we have a lot going on, don't we? Oh, I bet she was going to age him up. Because he's not crying or anything. But right now, we're stomping on the roaches. We need a freaking landscaper. We, we, okay. We're going to go over here, and we're going to call services. We're going to get our lives situated. I mean, our lives. for Our lives. I am like one with my Sims, <laughs> but no, Cassandra's life is just kind of like all over the place, and that's what I mean, but she's just trying to, to be happy and move on, she really is, she's trying super hard, we're going to call the gardener, I want him to start coming and helping us, because our weeds are just really, really uh, out of hand here, and then we're going to call the exterminator, I'm not really sure who, how that happened, or if we had trash or or what, but you know, we we're not doing roaches. We're we're not about that. Um, where's Damon? Roaches? Yes. Okay. Okay. Damon's already gone to bed. I didn't have him work on his homework, which is okay. it's okay though. It's Friday, so he has all weekend. It's really easy to get behind on homework here. But anyways, <sighs> I really wanted freaking Darren Junior to age up here, but it looks like that's. It looks like that's about to happen. So maybe we are going to end on a happy, positive note. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, that this has kind of been all over the place. This was not my intentions. I had intentions of, like, having a family shopping day. But then the game glitched. And then I had plans on her going and possibly just, you know, connecting with somebody. That didn't happen. And maybe her nerves. I don't know. But now we have Darren Jr. about to age up into a little toddler and you know what I really think that it's just gonna help her see that you know she's gonna look at him obviously and freaking see D Darren made over and oh, did you just sit him down in the mid middle of <sighs> aging him up is so annoying you know what I'm over this I'm so over this okay well I mean I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on. You're supposed to age him up, but she just freaking throws him on the ground. Cassandra, get it together. She needs to get it together. She, she does. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry it's been a hot mess. But, like I said, you just can't really predict these things here with The Sims 2 or The Sims in general. But, especially in The Sims 2, I've come to learn that my plans just don't necessarily always work out. Okay, good lord. Freaking age up now. Oh, is it? he is so cute. He looks just like Damon, looks just like Darren. I expected nothing less, but I don't know. He's really cute, and I'm, I'm glad that he's aged up, and what I want to do is 
um, plan an everyday outfit for him. Oh, that is so freaking sweet. Oh, it is. It's so sweet. And I'm going to show you guys the, the little outfits that I got him. So, I purchased this one. That's so cute. And this one. I love the little overalls. I love overalls on babies. But I think since it is spring, I'm going to do this one. I get more of a spring vibe from this. And then maybe in the summer. I don't know if he'll even be a toddler in the summer. But I'm just feeling this one for spring. So, we're going to change him into that. And he is so cute. Oh, my Lord. All right, so, yeah, we're struggling as usual. I mean, life's a struggle here, but you know what? We're just trying to make it. He's really dirty, um, <laughs> like really dirty. So, I guess we can probably come over here and bathe him and kind of wrap up this part because I don't even really know where to go from here, honestly. And I hope that you guys are still with me and not completely aggravated with this part because it's like, what are you trying to do? I hope I've explained it as best as I can. You know, she just wants to move on. She does not want to be a widow. She does not want to be sad and depressed. She has, you know, children to look after and to make proud. And she just wants love. That's all Cassandra has ever wanted. And... She thought she had that with freaking Don Lothario, but we know that Don is a freaking little twat, and that didn't work out. Um, and then, you know, Darren, being her best friend, kind of came in and was her Prince Charming and stole her heart and healed her heart. And then uh, for him to unfortunately pass away unexpectedly like he did was devastating. And that's why I said this is just my hectic household because it's just things that never happen the way I expect them to. Um, and I think Cassandra knows that, but she is looking at little Darren and just thinking, everything's going to be okay. I have you, I have Damon, and then of course she has Dirk um, as well, who she is so proud of, who is about to graduate college. And she's like, you know what, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And she knows that Darren is looking down on her. And he would want her to move on when the time is right. So, while, unfortunately, we didn't necessarily meet somebody that we connected to today, um, it could happen for Cassandra. I definitely believe it will. And I think she's just really going to be a great mom and just do everything she can to provide for her boys and be the best mom that she can be. So, with all of that being said... I know she looks a little sad and depressed, but she's just that mom life. She's stressing out, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Um, it's, it's been uh, all over the place. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And don't worry. We're going to continue. I know everybody's like, no, it's ending. Uh, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to have a season two eventually. So, I want to know your suggestions. What do you see happening with Cassandra and her life? Do you agree with me? Disagree? Let me know what you think so I can put that into perspective when I start filming Season 2 and getting that storyline ready. So, yes, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.